Today is October 30th, and Preston and I are way back here on public land. We crept all the way back here, probably a mile and a half through a dried up creek bed, and got up on top on this open ridge. This is an area that Aaron and I scouted back in July, and uh, we thought that this ridge top was gonna be a promising spot for this time of the year. Basically how it sets up is straight to the north of us. There's a thick cedar patch. And we suspect that a lot of does are gonna be bedded in that thick cedar patch. Straight to the west, northwest of us, about 75 yards, there's a buck bed that we found when we were scouting. And it sets up perfect for a north wind. The deer can bed there on that hillside, facing to the south with the wind at his back. It seems like a promising area. It's a really big block and it's really hard to get to and we're way back in the middle of it. Temperature's probably 20 degrees cooler than it was yesterday. So we got high hopes. Hopefully some deer filter back through this morning. You shot him? How big? No kidding. Yeah. All right, sounds good. He's done. We got a big one. That's awesome. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Noises. <laughs> well, he found the buck. He's a good one. <laughs> he's, a, he's a pretty good one. Yeah, pretty tickled with him. Y'all have to watch the show in the next couple of weeks to see what happened, but uh, cold front came through last night, and we were all in the stand this morning. You, me, and Greg saw some decent movement in first light, saw some uh, three-year-olds come through, and then about 8 o'clock he come through. Um, looking to hit this scrape line that we were set up on, come right out of the bedding area. I guess he was bedded back up in there. He probably has been living in there all month of October, but the cold front and uh, the pre-rut got him up and heading to the scrapes this morning. We were lucky enough to, to shoot him. Pretty cool.